And let's see if we can work out what the magnitude is. Uh, same idea. The net electric field is going to be the electric field due to the positively charged plate plus the electric field due to the negatively charged plate. And I'm just going to look at the um, component, the X component. And, okay, we're, they're calling this Z, but don't get confused by that. The Z distance is just along the X direction in this particular case, so don't worry about that so much. Okay, so the X component would be we have the field due to the positively charged plate is going to be pointing in the positive X direction. So that would be positive Q over A over 2 epsilon 0 times 1 minus the distance from the this point to this point. Well, what do we want to call that? Let's see. This distance is S. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just call that distance Z. All right, so let's call that distance Z. Even though it's along the X direction, it's okay. So this will be 1 minus Z over R. And then we have the electric field due to the negatively charged plate. So we have the field due to the negative charge is pointing in the negative X direction, right? So it's going to have a negative X component. The Q here, I'm just saying, is a positive number. So this is Q and this is negative Q. Q over A over 2 epsilon 0, I have 1 minus. Now, what's this distance? What is the distance from this plate to this observation location? If this is S and this is Z, then this distance is what? Z minus S, right? Okay, so we have 1 minus Z minus S over R. And... You work this out. Let's see. We have uh, what are we going to get? We're going to get some things canceling out. The, uh, the Q over A over two epsilon naught minus Q over A over two epsilon naught. That's so essentially that factor of one and minus that factor of one. We have minus Z over R Q over A over two epsilon zero. We have, if we bring the negative sign inside, we have a plus Z over R, Q over A over 2 epsilon 0. And we end up with a uh, minus S over R, Q over A over 2 epsilon 0 when we work out all the algebra. So a lot of things cancel out here. That cancels out. That cancels out. We end up with the X component. I'm just going to look at the magnitude here, the magnitude of the field of a capacitor outside the gap on the center axis. Q over A over 2 epsilon 0 times S over R. This depends on the geometry, or depends on the area. It also depends on the size of the gap. The bigger that gap, the uh, bigger that field is going to be because you have a less of a, di or a, excuse me, more of a difference between these two fields and you get less cancellation, okay? If I squeeze these two uh, plates together, that S gets smaller and smaller. These fields look almost, get closer to looking more identical to each other and this gets closer and closer to zero. This thing is called the fringe field of a capacitor. So it's the field outside of that gap. It just has a special name, and we'll be using that occasionally through the semester as well.